Hello friends, welcome once again to another educational video of SlideScope. In this video, we are going to do some exploratory data analysis on One Day International or ODI cricket data set. The data source is Kaggle. That means I found this data set on Kaggle. So you can search for this data set on Kaggle. And in this part, we'll be analyzing this data set which is present in form of a CSV file and the IDE that I am going to use is Google Colab. So first I will open uh, my browser and here in Google I will simply search Google Colab. So you can see Google Colab. So I don't have Anaconda Navigator installed in my computer right now and still I want to do some analysis so that's why I am using Google Colab here. In Google Colab you don't have to install any software you can simply go ahead and create new notebooks here just like you do in your uh, Anaconda Navigator. So. You just need a working internet connection for this. So you can see that this is my Google Colab notebook here. And this is the data set. So for simplicity, I have simply uh, uploaded this data set on my GitHub so that you can see what values are there. So in this data set, you can see these are the columns. First column is team one then second column is runs third column is innings fourth column is overs how many overs were there then this is rpo that is runs per over and this is date on which date this particular match took place then we have result team 2 and ground so we have these uh, values or these columns here and the matches, the data that we have for one day international matches is from 6th of Jan 1985. So every match that was played after 6th of January 1985 for every match we have this data. So you can see and uh, guys who have collected this data they have done a really great job here and you can see the last match is 13th of March 2020 and obviously after that I think because of COVID-19 uh, no ODI match took place. So we have this data set and now the thing with uh, GitHub is you will find many data sets on GitHub also if your data set is in CSV format. So first of all, you can view the CSV format in tabular form here. And the, th uh, the next thing is if you will click on raw. So this will give you a data set in this raw format. And I am just going to copy this URL. I will tell you why I have done that. Again, uh, this is for those people who want to uh, test the same thing in Anaconda Navigator. So in Anaconda Navigator, or whatever IDE you are using, you just have to download the, you just download the download the CSV file and open your Anaconda Navigator in that location. So in your case, you just have to open Anaconda Navigator and then you can uh, do this. I am, I am using Google Colab. I am just showing you how you can use Google Colab and your data set if it is present on GitHub. You can also create account on GitHub and you can upload your data set here if files are in CSV format. So we can read directly from here also. I am just going to change the name of my notebook to ODI Cricket Dataset. 
the first thing that we have to do is we have to import the library pandas for data processing so we will import pandas as pd then we will create our data frame which is df so data frame is basically the 2d table like data it is two dimensional data and whatever we were seeing in the csv file here we can create a data frame here so pd dot read underscore csv and here you just have to write the name of your csv file or the path of your csv file so if you are using your csv file using anaconda navigator so you can uh, simply write the name or the path of your file if your file is in the same folder in which your jupyter notebook is then you can simply directly write the name of your csv file one more thing is here i have some basic videos regarding uh, python pandas so you can go to that particular playlist i will place the link of that playlist uh, in the description so you can go to that playlist you can watch some basic videos if you don't have knowledge about python pandas i also have a complete course on udemy in which i have uh, taught data analysis using python pandas sql various library of python so you can also enroll for that course again the link will be in the description if you don't want all that so simply watch this video and you will learn how to do exploratory analysis on any particular data set so now you can see this data frame is created and this 2d tabular data or structured data is now present here so this df is simply the data that we saw earlier and we have these columns and most of the values are there now thing is uh, we will do some exploratory analysis in this video and then i will create another video in which i will do some other analysis so first thing let's say first we will take this column ground and we will try to find out on which ground most number of matches have taken place or which particular ground hosted the most number of matches so let's see here so first df is our data frame and if you have to select any particular column there are two ways of doing that one way is simply write dot and then you can type the name of that particular column so df dot ground and this will select that particular column so when and this data is one dimensional so when the data is one dimensional it is called of type series you can see the type of such data is panda score series and the type of df will be data frame because we have created using pd.read_csv so that 2d data which have a more number of columns and an index is also there so in in a data frame there is an index and there are more than one column that is called data frame and in a series there is one column and one index frame so now we will select df.ground here and now our ground will be selected and then there is a method called value underscore counts this simply counts how many occurrence of any particular value in a particular uh, column has is there so let's say when you will do this so this is telling that most number of matches have uh, or you can say sharja has hosted most number of matches here then there is dhaka then harare colombo sydney very and there are so many uh, other grounds here now this type of uh, or this particular method value underscore counts can only be applied on series data type or can only be applied on one column now when we have these values so we kind of can uh, use plot method so write this and then write dot plot 
and here just type kind is equal to bar so this will give us a bar chart of this partic these particular values so when you will do this so it is going to create a matplotlib and you can see as there are many values here so that's why we are unable to read this there is one more parameter here which is called so kind is equal to bar will produce a bar chart and we can also write fig size so we can increase the figure size and we can make it as 15 comma 6 maybe so the length will be 15 and height will be 6 so you can see if we can increase it further so the names will be read will be more readable so let's increase the length to 25 and so now you can see the names are now readable and we can read these names also and you can see a simple bar here also so these are name of all the grounds and which particular ground has hosted most number of matches and the answer is clear since 1985 most number of matches have been played at uh, Sharjah round then Dhaka then there's Harare Colombo Sydney and then there are other cities so this is how you can count values when values in a particular column are repeating so next is uh, you can see here uh, we have record of team one and this is runs so as per the description of data set this is basically the number of runs that were made by team one in this particular uh, match so if team one was australia so they made 240 runs and they lost to west indies in this particular match and similarly all other matches are there so let's uh, let us just find out how many times teams have uh, made more than 400 runs batting first so if you have to find something like that that how many times 400 or more runs have been made batting first so what we have to do we have to uh, filter results here so first we will select df and then to filter results uh, we have to write write it like this df where df and the column in which runs are given is runs which is in a small so df where df runs so another way of selecting a column is like this so first i told you that one way of selecting a column is like this df dot runs so this will select the runs column okay as we selected the grounds column this will select the runs column and we simply have to type df runs should be greater than or equal to 400 so if you will execute this so in this case you will see boolean results that in these matches uh, number of runs more than 400 was false but again here we are just seeing top 5 rows and bottom 5 rows so this will not give us the complete answer now what we have to do we have to enclose this condition in a square bracket and then for this condition you have to get the complete df so when you will type this so now you can see we have got all those matches in which our teams have made more than 400 runs batting first so you can see the first match in which more than 400 and more than 400 runs were made was on 12th of march 206 and actually australia lost to south africa it was a historical match in which south of south africa came victorious thanks to innings by herschel gibbs so now you can see after that many times uh, 400 runs have been made by innings and most of the time they have won only uh, one time Sri Lanka made 
411 runs and they lost to India. India has scored more than these runs and most of the times they have won. So only two times out of these matches, uh, a team which has scored more than, more than 400 runs in a 50 overs match. So they have actually, uh, most of the teams have won actually. It's a very, very safe score there. Now suppose you have to find how many times this has been done. So this is our data and the simple way to find this is there is an inbuilt method in Python which we can use called LEN and you can type LEN DF and then you can see. So 20 times teams have made uh, more than 400 runs batting first in ODI cricket since uh, 6th of Jan 1985. This is one way of telling these things. So when whenever you watch cricket, you see the statisticians. Uh, they they simply tell you these type of statistics, and most of that these type of statistics you can also find out if you have the data set and you know the right Python code. So this is one such analysis that how many times more than 400 runs have been made we can also put adding there how many times 400 or more runs have been made for the i cricket so this is one such data now similarly we will find out how many times 300 or more runs have been made so for that again you can simply write df dot runs is greater than equal to 300 the goal is to find how safe is 300 how safe is 300 in first innings so if our team makes 300 runs in the first inning batting first so how safe it is so we will do some analysis we will see how many times a team has won or lost using this so as we can clearly see from this data as we can see most number of results are won but we will tell the exact number now this is our data frame so our new data frame is now this so instead of df our new data frame is this so in this data frame there is a column called result okay so what we are going to do here we will find out value counts in result why we can find out value value count in result because in result you can see there are two type of repetitive values won and lost so this is our data frame so this is let's write out the data frame then put a simple dot here and after writing a dot simply write the name of the column so the name of the column here is result and this will simply give us a series of data in which uh, we will find out one loss one so this is a series of data and similarly as we did in the previous case if you just want to find uh, value counts for this so you can write value underscore counts because this is series again you just have to remember value counts is a very important and very useful method in exploratory analysis and in this case we will find value counts and you will see how many times team batting first have won or lost a match so now you can see we have got this data that uh, uh, 571 times team which have made more than 300 runs they have won the match so it looks like a safe score and this time if you remember earlier we used uh, this bar graph although it is not uh, looking very pretty here but again uh, you are just learning how to plot a bar graph we can also we can also put head here and we, suppose you want to find ground which we want to find out ground which have hosted most number of matches 
and we have to find top 20 such grounds so in that case you can type df.ground.head and you can write 20 here and then value counts so this this way you will get top 20 such grounds you can see the data here you can see top 20 such grounds you will see so these are those values and now the next thing is here we are going to we are not going to create a bar graph here we are actually going to create a pie chart here and to draw a pie chart you simply have to write dot plot we we typed dot plot in the previous part also but in the kind parameter we gave a value of bar there here we can give a value of pi and because it's a pie chart it will be circular so we will write fixed size is equal to let's say 8 comma 8 so this will give us a perfect circular pie chart here so you can see we are getting a pie chart here and you can see that won and lost so you can see most of the matches uh, or most of the teams after making 300 runs they win so more than i think approximately with the help of this pie we can say approximately 70 percent of the times they win so now we can also find out the percentage because in such cases if you tell an answer in terms of percentage that will be a more, more accurate answer so for that you don't have to calculate anything there is an attribute called auto pct so with the help of this attribute auto pct so we have uh, in in plot method we have kind is equal to pi fix size is equal to 8 comma 8 which is a list and then in auto pct you simply have to write percentage comma 0.2f 0.2f means uh, we want decimal values float values here and up to two decimal places let's execute this and you can see this is giving us percentage with these pi areas also so in this pi area you can see we have 79.75 percent so after this means after scoring more than 300 runs 79.75 percent of the times team batting first win the match so this is this is a very strong correlation for winning a match that's why 300 runs is a very uh, safe score it is considered as a safe score or you can say teams feel very confident after making 300 runs that their ballers will defend this type of total so this is first part of this analysis ODI cricket analysis I know in this first part uh, we have only made two type of graphs we have only filtered some data here but again in this part we have to lo load the data and do various such things in the next part we will continue with this and we will try to uh, get more meaningful insights from the data that we have I will also do my own research and I will see what best we can get out from this data so that uh, the insights should be meaningful and uh, you should also be able to learn them using python pandas and matplotlib so thanks for watching this in the next part I will try to create some graphs using Seaborn library